hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c plus 6 whole square is equals to 36 and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here we solve this problem for two methods uh, and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the command section and now here in the first method uh, we need to expand uh, the left hand side of the given equation uh, so for this we use here this nice formula if you have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so according to this nice formula we can expand our left hand side of the above equation as in this form uh, so first you have c square plus because here our a is c and b is 6 so we write it as c square plus 2 times of c into 6 plus b square so b is 6 square and it is equals to 36 and now here uh, we need more simplifications and we write it as here you have c square plus this is 6 times of 2 becomes 12c plus this 6 square equals to 36 and here we move this 36 in the left hand side and it will becomes minus 36 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see here this is minus 36 and this is plus 36 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here c square plus 12c equals to 0 and now uh, because we solve this problem for all the values of c so that uh, you see here on both of these terms involve c so that we take common c here and we get <coughs> the remaining values are here we get c only and plus here you take common c and we get 12 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we divide this equation into the two cases uh, the first case is we take c equals to 0 and the second case is we take c plus 12 equals to 0. So from first case we easily get uh, the value of c is equals to 0 and now here from second case here we need to move this 12 to the right hand side and this is positive 12 when we move in the right hand side it will become minus 12. So this is the second value of C in the given equation. So these are the final solution of the given equation uh, which we get here from first method. And now uh, we move forward and we again solve this problem uh, for second method. Now here uh, for second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and it is C plus 6 whole square equals to 36 this is the our given question statement and now uh, in the second method we use here this nice algebraic formula if you have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so this is the our uh, uh, nice algebraic formula we uh, which we can apply in the above given equation okay but for this we need uh, to working uh, some this equation so for this we move this 36 in the left hand side and it will be written as c plus 6 whole square this is plus 36 when we move in the left hand side it will becomes minus 36 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we have this is c plus 6 whole square minus this is 36 we write it as 6 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we are ready to apply here this nice formula so according to this nice formula uh, uh, we see here the base of this term is our a and it is c plus 6 and the base of this term is our b and it is only 6 so according to these two values of uh, a and b we can apply the above formula and uh, this equation is written as first you have a plus b so that uh, our a is c plus 6 and plus our b is 6 only and the second uh, factor is that 
a minus b the first value of a is c plus 6 minus the value of b is 6 and this whole equation equals to 0 so here further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and you see here this is c plus 6 plus 6 becomes 12 into here you see that this is negative and positive c and we get only c and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step uh, we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c plus 12 equals to 0 and the second case is we write c equals to 0 so from here we easily get the value of c is equals to minus 12 so this is the first uh, real solution of the given equation and from here this is c equals to 0 and this is the second real solution of the given equation so you see here uh, from both these methods we get uh, the same values of c uh, and now you see here this is the final answer of this problem and now in the next step we need to verify uh, these two values of c is these two values of c are satisfied of a given question statement or not so for this first we need to copy down the given question statement here and uh, the given question statement is that c plus 6 whole square is equals to 36 so here uh, in the left hand side we will just put the value of c is equals to minus 12 and from this side we put the value of c is equals to 0. So here we verify both of these values of c and now you see here we have uh, here when you put uh, this value of c in the left hand side of this equation so it will be written as uh, this is c plus 6 the value of c is minus 12 plus 6 whole square is equals to 36 and we see here minus 12 plus 6 becomes 6 square is equals to 36 and we know that 6 square becomes 36 equals to 36 so this shows that the value of c equals to minus 12 satisfied over this given question statement so this is the our uh, answer uh, or solution of this problem this is the first solution of the given equation and now we verify this value of c and now again we put c equals to 0 in the left hand side of this equation so it will be written as 0 plus 6 whole square equals to 36 and 0 plus 6 becomes 6 square equals to 36 and this 6 square equals to 36 equals to 36. So this case is also shows that the value of C is satisfied over given question statement. So this is the second solution set of the given equation. So these are the two solutions of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.